Hi everyone, my name is Linda Little Bear, and this is a serious video. First, I'm going to give you a definition. It's called Patriot. Alright, I'm going to give you the real definition of Patriot, and you just can't change this as you go along. A definition is a definition. One who loves his or her country and supports its authority and its interest. Did you hear that? One who loves his or her country and supports its authority and interest. And you just can't change your mind and change it to something else. Now I'm getting at something here because I think you patriots, um, some of you don't do any research. And I'm going to talk about the border. Um, ever since I've been alive, people have been coming across that border for one reason or another. And, and, and I know there's a lot of reasons. I know there's genocide going on down there. I've already done a video. I'll even leave that link if I can find space and all the links I'm about to leave you. Now, I knew something that was going on. Let's see. Company wins U.S. border contract after testing on occupied Palestinians. Now, if you think the National Guard's going to go down there because of Bilderberg, Mr. Rick Perry, superhero, and do something, or maybe the U.N.'s going to go down there, or they're all going to be under um, this, this uh, company that won it. It's called Ilbit Systems. Ilbit Systems is an Israeli contractor. Um, they don't give a shit about people. They don't care who they kill, what they do. All they are is about control. And you can read this yourself. Um, um, they, they are using the model of what they're doing in Palestine. The company wins U.S. border contract after testing on occupied Palestine. They want the border closed. They want division. They had to create division so people would protest so they could get this in. Well, it worked real good. Thank you, patriots. Okay, now let's get back to what's really going on. Um, it's not only happening in America. I already knew it was happening on the Tohono Otham Reservation. They had to try it out here. And they did on the Indian Reservation. It was a shocking development. Homeland Security gave a $145 billion, uh, million border security contract to an Israel apartheid contractor named Ilbit System. The Israel security contract is... Uh, what they did, it, it set for eight years. The area includes the Tohono Otham Nation, and this is where they tested it first. Um, currently, over the objection of grassroots Tohono Otham, the U.S. is constru constructing more new U.S. spy towers around the homes of the Tohono Otham peoples on the western side of the Tohono Otham Nation. Not at the border. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Homeland Security contract to Israel, and these are mercenary peoples, um, comes right after another contractor, Bright Source Energy, built a mag mega solar project in the Mojave Desert. They were Israelis too. Um, on the tone of the nation, these spy towers and cameras and, and the ones on the agents' vehicles are pointed at the Otham homes not at the border. Now, and I'm going to tell you what I know, what happened there, because it's the, the link I wanted came from a very, very good woman activist that I know, and, and her complete site has been taken down by the United States government, probably Israel. What they did is, I'm going to use an example, if you went into your church, and you were holding your Bible and singing your hymns and stuff, and say a bunch of armed mercenaries come in with guns and and took your Bibles and tossed them to side and, and told you to get back to your houses now with guns pointed at your face and you had no arms on you um, and drones flying over your head, you'd run back to your house. Well, in the Tohono Otham Nation, every time they did their ceremonies, which they set around fires, they would send in helicopters that would fly so low that the downdraft would blow the fire and stuff on everybody. So they'd run back to their homes. Those people are required to show papers when they leave their homes. They're in America. You understand? They're in America. They're on the border, but they're in America. Um, it's not only happening here. They won the contract here, and this was for control. Um, it was tried out on Palestine. It worked great. Here we go. Elbit exporting oppression from Palestine to Latin America. They're arming the border there. They're going to see what can and can't come through, and they're going to be the decision makers, all for control. 
I'm going to leave you their special operation services of Elbit. Israel, Elbit wins U.S. border work after Boeing dumped. I don't trust Boeing either, but nevertheless, Boeing was dumped. In order, Israel is getting it all over the world. Do you understand what I'm saying? All over the world. Targeting Elbit, Elbit systems in the month against the apartheid wall. They are building walls in Latin America. They're going to build a wall of surveillance on our southern border. We are going to be called locked in. Like landlocked fish, we are going to be landlocked. The northern border, they're controlling too. They have drones. They have armed drones. They have armed everything. They have mercenaries. They needed a distraction on the border. They needed this because people were finding out that it was Elbit, Elbit Systems. And, and people like me, I was trying to get loud about it. No one was listening because there are refugees that actually need to get here because the corporations have poisoned their water, their food, taken their homes away. They have no damn place to go. I don't believe the number that the government or alternative media has even said, and not one of the alternative media is really even talking about what's really happening, and that is Israel's control over the Americas. They will control our movement. They will put drones, armed drones, wherever they want. They have free range. And you can't blame Obama. This is an empire thing. And I don't want to hear one person blaming Obama, but they did need something to happen on the border so people would accept their slavery just a little bit more. And thank you, fucking patriots, you did it. You never research nothing. You follow the first thing you see. I heard there was some kind of white flags hanging on a bridge yesterday and everybody went all fucking crazy. That's a fucking piece of cloth. Oh, my God. Now we are going to be completely, completely overrun with Israeli mercenaries who don't give a shit about regular people and it's all listed in all my links. I hope you read them. Okay, divestment can work and, and there's a lot of things I'm going to put up here where you boycott and I hope you people look at what to boycott. Even some universities are saying boycott, boycott. You can't outgun these people. They have some of the best weapons in the world. So what you're going to have to do is turn your power away. Patriots, you're useless idiots. If you don't start doing your research, you don't do your research. That's the whole thing. You go for the cause of the day to show off your guns, your weapons, polish your little knives. I'm done. I am done. Do your research. Find out what's really going on. What are they going to do with the few people that did get in? Well, let's just say Israel controls us now. Might as well hang a Mossad flag up there. What do you, what do you think? And you fell for the distraction. A lot of us were saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Thank you, patriots.